Hi. From the top, Harry. How's your yep. stomach doing? Can I get a tummy ache check? Tummy's been how pretty it, good. How long has it been um, since your last tummy ache? Probably. Just, <laughs> I wake up with a tummy ache every morning. If I'm I know. Honest. Yeah. No. Me too. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I've been okay. Um. That's good. Yeah. There's a kid that sits in one of my classes. He has tummy troubles, and you can tell. Oh, <laughs> he's got the look. He's got that face. <laughs> well, he's very skinny. He's very skinny. He's a little gaunt. His eyes are set back his in his head. His stomach is distended forward. like a like a starving like Ethiopian kid. <laughs> no, you can hear it. Does he make It does oh, the noise all the time. That's bad. What it's just constantly going like. Yeah, and it's because I, it's because he's not eating. But when he's got long days of classes, because he's scared, he's gonna poop. I know this oh, because I am I am one in the same. I'm one in the same, and I know this. You guys, well, need to, like, wow. you guys need to like split some plain like cauliflower rice and some steamed broccoli mm. once in a while. Well, that was actually my best friend in primary school. We were best friends because we both had tummy troubles. So, oh yeah, you. But I think he, you had, you had to wear a diaper. You had to wear a diaper. Yet, your best friend was the diaper kid. That's awful. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. But go to Australia. You must have been such a fucking lame pussy in school. I was awesome. Okay. That was awesome. Me and Paddy. Some of the awesome kid has to hang out with the diaper kid. It's not really how. I didn't have to. I chose to. Social hierarchy as well, but you're like a double agent. You've Maybe been, if you went trained. to a special school and he's just like the least, you know, he's the he's the most with it, you know. <laughs> the coolest kid at my school was the kid wearing my diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is just shitting themselves straight up. <laughs> <laughs> LV, anything happening in your world? What's going on? Uh, I was going to say that um, Harry was a, sleep, uh, a double agent and he's been trained. He, he's been genetically engineered to have an awful stomach digestive issue so that he can make friends with those people yeah. and then report and then laugh at them behind their back. Oh my all God. The most, all just the most like you literally villains. just did. Mission accomplished. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All you all literally just exposed your best friend, friend, diaper boy to us and you laughed at him i was also thinking for the the tummy check we should get harry on a big stage we should get a massive stethoscope and hold it up to his belly button (laughs) just put it up to the microphone (laughs) wait i could stand on the stool but i might fall off (laughs) you need a second microphone set up there's just like a contact mic that's attached to your stomach (laughs) oh no we could get one of the ones in like in boxing rings and they come down and i can hold i can grab it and hold it to my tummy that could be pretty good Get the gurgling sounds and the surround, like, <laughs> eight-dimensional sound. Oh, my yeah. God, yes. What about, like, an I, we make, like, an iDozer video? Like, you know, one of those videos that's like, oh, listen to this to get high. <laughs> you know? Well, it's just, what if you listen to, listen to this and get a tummy ache? <laughs> you just listen to the sound of Harry's bad yeah. stomach, and it, and it gives you a tummy ache. Can you get high on that? <laughs> What's it? It's called, like, Claudia Claudiatus. What's that? What's um? Oh, you need to cut this out. <laughs> no, it's staying in. We need to investigate this. Like What's col- the thing? Colitis. Claudiitis. Col- Harry, you know that. Colitis. Colitis. Yeah, colitis. Oh, oh yeah. C- Gastrocolitis, whatever it's called. Isn't that when like you you get like a bacteria or something in your stomach, and it's like that's when you get like, worms. What happens then? I know it's bad. I think I think you get a priest round, and they kind of they do something and kind of exercise. The, the unfriendly worm. What are you talking about? The priest makes you do exercise. Yeah, okay. Ooh. I think I'm convinced that you grew up in. You know that movie, The Village. I know it. I haven't seen it. Like the M Night Shyamalan movie, The Village. That's an awesome. Okay, movie, well, in the actually. village is basically about these villagers, and they live in this village, and they don't like mm-hmm. anyone outside the village. And there's all these monsters outside the village, but it turns out that's actually the villagers who are trying to keep people from leaving and entering the village. Mm. You're like that. You're basically like why, that. Why am I like that? Like you have, the, like you have, like the the mind of someone who grew up in that kind of place. I actually have the mind of someone who grew up uh, with Bill and Ben and Noddy in Toyland. Bill and Ben. I think I was. I'm too. I'm too young for that. That's why you <laughs> guys are the ben. same age. No, oh, Harry... the flower pot man. Okay, no, I do know these yeah. guys. Call them a flower pot man. Harry grew up watching Paw Patrol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Harry still watches Paw Patrol. Oh, I was born in 2010. Yeah, Harry's like, yo, there's actually mad like adult storylines in Paw Patrol. You know, there's kind of humour for adults to pick up on. Yeah, Harry's, Harry's only three now. years old. But he's been pumped full of HGH and it only made him get, fit, get a moustache. <laughs> he got pumped full of HGH and it made him grow two whole inches. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> can we do a health? Can this be the medical episode where we talk about medical things? About our, our what our ailments? Just in general. So, like, like we were talking about colitis. Uh, we could talk about how small ulcers can develop in the colon's lining. Oh, yeah. And can bleed and produce blood. <laughs> And that could sort of be the basis for the rest of this episode. Okay, that's the title of the episode right there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we could use your, your ulcers in your past to kind of theme a kind of criticism of the film. Mm, yeah, because all of those hot dogs must have given someone colitis. That is true. Like, they never, I never saw them charge the battery at all. And they had fridges. They must have apparently had fridges <laughs> running in there the whole time. Well, they had a freezer. It was all Keep frozen those. hot dogs. Maybe they're just really, okay. really well frozen, so they kind of stayed frozen for a long time. Oh, yeah. Because that can, that can happen. You, can, you, you can just, right, you can it just freeze it right. If you freeze yeah. it twice, then it freeze, it's frozen for twice as long. That's true. Mm, it's, like, point, um, it's like, you know, Korean people, they fry the chicken twice, it makes it extra crunchy. Yeah. Or like when you find a caveman in a block of ice, that guy's been frozen mm. so many times. Does that ever mm. work out, though? <clears throat> I've, I've seen it on TV. Getting frozen? Worked out for Fry in Futurama. Yo, yeah, he's not really but, in a block of ice, though. He's in a cryogenics chamber. It's kind of a completely different thing. And he's not really a caveman. He's kind of actually a man from the, the 20th century. So, Well, I bet you think you're so different from cavemen, but your house is just a cave. No, my house is... We're literally looking at a jungle behind you. Yeah, you're in a, you're, we can literally see the outside of your cave. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. I've got the long, I've got the long hair of, of some kind of cave dweller. Yeah, and the hat that they all used to wear. Yeah, that's very <laughs> true. It's very fucking true. Yeah, you like Tarzan. This is a picture of the bait of the Great Cave Fire on the front of my hat. We watched Wiener. So did you guys watch the movie? Because I actually watched it this week. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I watched it too. I never skipped the movie. Did you love it? I actually did. No, I didn't. Sorry, no, I didn't. <laughs> I it was your, your fucking story is falling apart. Did you watch the movie or not? I watched the movie, but I didn't really like it very much. I thought, I thought mm, it was all right. right. I don't know. I was quite bored watching this movie. No, this movie was so entertaining. It was entertaining. No. I think there's something wrong with Harry's kind of internal neurological structure. Yeah, your, your funny bone is, is still <laughs> exists. The gland in your brain that controls humor is deficient. No, I just prefer highbrow sort of comedies like, uh, like Imbruges. You were reading maybe. New Yorker cartoons the entire time. <laughs> Yeah, I was reading the same <laughs> Garfield strip over and over. Yeah, look up the New Yorker cartoon. You didn't get much. enough nutrition as a child, and now your funny bone is all hollow and kind of got lots of holes in it. Oh, that's, that's a funny true. thing. That's a funny medical thing. I looked through my uh, my old prescriptions because you can do that on the NHS app. And in 2009, I was prescribed lasagna. <laughs> you were prescribed lasagna? Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. you're too skinny. Yeah, I was a sick boy. I was prescribed lasagna. I was prescribed gluten free pizza bases and pasta. Is that it's true? pretty awesome. Yeah, I can get it up. I was prescribed milkshakes, <laughs> and I remember those. Those are really good. Do you guys get this? This joke? Let me have a look. So for the audience, <laughs> uh, it says... Me- it's, it's, you could even look this up. Like You could look up the date this is going to be released and look up the, the New York Times cartoon. <laughs> okay. from the, the Everyone buy cartoon. the New York Times this week. You no, know, it's the New Yorker. It's not the New York Times. It's oh, the New Yorker. Okay. It's much more highbrow. Is, it, um, is this the date? Uh, yeah, so it says, Man's First Fall. It has... Uh, Two freaks, two kind of nakeds. I don't know what the. Anyway, they're picking a, an apple from a tree. Uh, there's a snake, and there's some cups. I don't understand this at all. I think it's kind of a find your own meaning thing. You know, it's like what does the picture say to you? That seems like the kind of high brush they would be doing, kind of high concept. You could probably put one of the cups on the end of the snake's tail. What would you get? What would you guys caption this caption contest? What would you caption um, this cartoon? A lovely summer's day. Probably like uh, I would. Probably, I, I can see your. I can. I can see your damn snatch on this ladder. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say maybe. Maybe turn around. Show me your tees. <laughs> yeah. Hey, stop picking that A and show me your tees. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> turn your yeah. A away Yo, from me. Eve, show me put your down tees. the apple and come and grapple on my penis. Yo, is she hanging Yo. from it. Yo. <laughs> I would have had the Garden of Eden smelling funky. Oh. <laughs> me, me and Eve, only two people that ever existed. She doesn't know anyone that's hotter than me. We <laughs> get in. <laughs> if I was Adam, that'd be beast. She might fall in love with a, a romantic shrew. I don't know if they were in love. 
I feel like it was kind of of a convenience thing. There's nothing convenient about what they did. But they're they're kind of related. Yeah, that's true. They're also sister, the sister and brother. No, she's his clone. She's his clone. Their mum and dad. No, she is his clone because he's from the rib. Would you have sex with your clone? You're prescribed lifestyle, gluten free (laughs) white bread rolls, Mm -hmm. Ultra Farm Limited. Energy. Why are you eating food from a company a company that has farm like farm? Because they had to. This was before. You had to eat pharmaceutical bread. This was before you could go to Tesco and go to the fruit. You had to get prescription gluten free bread. Yeah, and I had to get energy lasagna, four hundred fifty four gram. How, what kind Dude, of, that's so funny. What kind of package did that come in? <laughs> I don't remember. Was it like an really... MRE? I, no, <laughs> I had to, to have the like... pharmacy and they hand over like a fucking big bag full of energy <laughs> lasagna. If you scroll down further, I was prescribed like vanilla fa- flavor Tetra packs when I was like two, and I think that is basically wow. like a goop MRE. Yeah, that's so, awesome. That's like the shit that they take to like starving like kids in like fur Oh countries. no! Those were the milkshakes. I could get these again. Well, the nourishment ones. Basically, yeah. They're like I in always wanted plus. to try those, but like, I was kind of you know I was never doing sports, so mm. I didn't really need to to drink like an a thousand calorie drink. Mm. I was told it tastes good. <laughs> Harry got prescribed a big syringe full of crisps. No, yeah. <laughs> your mum was instructed to pulverize one bag of Monster Munch and, and liquid liquefy it, so it'd be simply yeah. easy on your stomach. That would smell horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine a baby? No, not if it was the roast beef ones. Imagine what would come good. out of a baby if you fed it just Monster Munch liquid. <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> just just yeah, pure onion paste. Hmm. What's your favorite flavor of Monster Munch? No, I don't like any of them. I don't really eat Monster Munch. I think I've had it like once or twice. I think ever since, I think I've been like a bit of a classist since I was a kid. I wouldn't touch those. You don't eat Tyrrell's vegetable crisps. <laughs> no, the only things that would pass your lips. That's so good. Mummy, that how better than like a beetroot crisp. Stop. They're, 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 they're better than Monster Munch anyway. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't yeah, it's not even the fucking not... same competition. Yeah. Monster Munch are like twenty p though, and I don't really. Get I've always got. I've always. Points. I've always got more than twenty p. Okay. That's my point. Cool. Good for you. Some of us in the I'm real world, it. not in the in the ivory fucking towers of Watford, <laughs> surrounded by forty fifty p. <laughs> yeah, you're living in Saruman's Tower. I'm down in Wardour <laughs> eating fucking Monster Munch. Okay. I yeah. I used to chew the um the wood shavings off the side of my bed. <laughs> I actually did do that. Like, no, I didn't eat them. But I, lo- I had a wooden bed frame, and I remember being a kid, and I remember the taste of wood from biting it because I just thought it was so fun to bite it. <laughs> and I had, like, there was like little teeth dents on it. And shit. Yeah, that, that's, that's what me and Anthony grew up with for crisps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get to chew on a two by four. It didn't come in a packet. You had to make it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was fed food most of the time <laughs> and lasagna. No, no, Velvy, you were eating like hard tech. Well, that's no, more like the I was, thing. Though. I was fed very well, actually. Um, okay. My mum used to like homemade. Gruel every morning. No, my mum used to homemade baby food. Lunch. And then some of our family oh. friends would buy the baby food and eat it themselves. Were they babies? No, they were adults. I think they might have had a baby. Yeah, but they just immature. But they would just eat it themselves. And the baby would starve. That's disgusting. And the baby died. <laughs> That would be an awesome, like, Asian horror movie. A baby food that's so delicious that you let your baby die. Sort of what rusks are. Rusks are good, though. Rusks mm-hmm. taste good. That's what I'm saying. They're really good. This is, this is part of Anthony's reversion to infant. Yeah, because well, I like rusks. Are so oh, because well, I like rusks and I like Baba <laughs> and I like Binky and I like Blanky. That means I'm a fucking baby. That means I'm a child. Okay? It's, it's seriously so saying? lit sucking on a, a blanket. Yo, I love pouring milk into the corner of my blanket <laughs> and then drinking out of it. <laughs> Getting it all wet. Just having a big dark patch where I constantly just like suck liquids out of my blanket. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, you'll never get a good night's sleep if you're not surrounded by metal bars. You've never had a fucking high like this, man. Like, <laughs> cowpole for babies. I don't really know any baby medications. I've kind of... That was a long time ago. 
Um, what are you they tried to give me. They tried to give me repositories what once, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't let them do it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> let them do it. <laughs> okay, Harry's, Harry's playing this Sean the Sheep go kart game. Uh, yeah. Stream that. They tried to give me. They tried to give me repositories. Stop distracting once. me. Well, they put stuff in your butt. They tried. They tried. <laughs> you clenched your cheeks together tight. No, literally, I wouldn't let them do it. They sent us home as well. It in and you just like shot it straight back out. Yeah, that's a real thing. Oh, no. Is that real? Uh, yeah, it was real. Uh, that's, uh, if you scroll a little first, further up the, uh, just past lasagna, you start to see repository. <laughs> and uh, they sent us home. My mum and dad had to try and do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're putting spirals in me. <laughs> Don't get a next time. That would be, be one of the easiest spi- shapes to get in, though. Cause you just kind what of about spaghetti? In, you know? Spaghetti goes straight. Mm, spaghetti's too pointy, though. You might, you might puncture mm. something. Well, spirals have points. I feel nice like point, I feel to get a spiral in, it would have to be, you know, like on your keys, you have like a key ring and it's like a spiral of metal. Mm. You'd have to yeah. kind of open up one side and kind of kind of corkscrew mm. it in. Well, yeah, no, it is like a corkscrew. No, it's like a screw. It's, it's like a regular screw. You just twist it in, you know? Um. Push it and twist and it just goes in. I'm not speaking from experience. <laughs> this guy has put too much pasta in him. I was just thinking about keys. I've got oh. keys on the mind. Well, like awesome keys for doing drugs. So, Harry, turn this fucking shit off. <laughs> Harry, turn this shit off. Harry is getting too distracted. I don't want to watch your stream. Stop streaming. Let's talk about the movie. Well, you want? I'm not allowed to play with you're playing a flash anymore, game so. and you're distracting me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to play with the things on my desk anymore. Yeah, so no, you're not allowed to play any games for the one hour that we record the podcast. <laughs> we can play Fortnite <laughs> after this, okay? I'll put my hands in my pocket. <laughs> I'll sit on my hands. Sit on top of your hands. It's a reward if you do. The podcast. <laughs> if you tell enough jokes, you get to play Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, you have to go to bed without supper. You have to get some laughs from me. Should, should we just like do like a quick overview of the the film? I mean, that's good. Yeah, let's I mean, get I've the got a lot of notes. Yeah. So we're gonna go through the we're gonna go through the plot in detail. This was a. I have the least uh, notes on this movie than any other. I would honestly say that this movie is like underrated gem that could be up there with like American Pie, Scary Movie. Like, I don't think that's in terms of like the gags and the performances. I think a hundred percent. Like, I think almost it's it's up there in same level of quality. I I mean, like maybe not Scary Movie one. Like, I thought it was yeah, um, no, 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 it's really good. So it's it's a road trip movie, and it's basically like. There's this loser that got dumped because he went on uh, Dr. Dwayne, which is like a Dr. Phil. It's a Dr. Phil rap. Yeah, it's like a Dr. Phil guy. And um, so he's kind of like, he's let himself go. And then his friends, uh, he wants to go across the country selling hot dogs or giving away hot dogs. And at the, he's going to drive to LA so that his friend can punch uh, Dr. Dwayne in the face. And that's I think that's basically like the kind yeah. of, that's the, that's the that's the short that's the mega structure the macro structure of the movie yeah that thing but um <laughs> what did you guys think of dr wayne do you think he's awesome it's dr dwayne he does to people are cool okay i've got dr wayne written down here so um he was, i thought he was awesome he was the most awesome part of the movie you liked him even though he was evil he kind of reminded me he wasn't evil have you watched bum fights Yes. Yeah, I watch I watch Bum Fights. I think one and two with a friend. Yeah, I've seen number two a few a couple of years ago. And um, is number two the one with the guy? They give him a, a screwdriver, like they give him a little thing of orange juice and a little thing of vodka, and he drinks both of them really quick, and then he tears out his tooth. Maybe I can't remember that. Much. I I can't remember much of it because it's it's pretty horrible. Um, yeah, but actually, they, I think it's yeah, epic. The guy who directed Bum Fights, who went on Doctor Phil's show. Dresses Dr. Phil. Oh, and he dresses up like him. Yeah. yeah that was so funny. <laughs> and Dr. Phil is just like, get out. He doesn't like it at all. <laughs> he gets owned. He, he really hates it. Owned. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in as well. He doesn't, I don't think it's a bald cap. I think he like shaved the top of his head. That's just going to be like, <laughs> like Dr. Phil. It's so it's, sick. It's like when you're at school and like the headmaster's like really, really, really angry. But the, the class clown is just messing about. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. I, I was the class, class clown. clown man. I was Loki, the class clown. I I love the class clown. Harry, you were the you were the class creature. <laughs> you were a class. Cage. You were a class down. You were a class down. Well, like I had Down syndrome. Is that what you're yeah. saying? 
Like yeah, I that's have, what like you, I have a mental yeah. disability. Yes, that's what you were in McClaws. I mean, what? Yeah, because I went to genius school, so relatively <laughs> like that. didn't. Yes, I did. I There's no genius school. schools in uh, London. They yes, don't let them stay. Yes, there is. I went to London Genius Comprehensive. Uh, our, our, our uniform was a big robe and like a golden brain crown, and it was kind of signified <laughs> yeah. that you're a genius. I think you're mistaking it for a helmet. Mm, I think your uniform was no, a helmet was that protected your shape. brain. There was no like overlayer, you know. It's kind of just no, no, crown. no. You just remember, you just remember crown because they so would always golden say crown finally attuned they, no, amplified they would, brain waves because they would always say, magics. "And you've got a yeah, soft yeah, crown. Yeah, you have to wear up. a helmet." You don't fucking know anything. I'm gonna push in your soft spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I still have a soft spot. That's why I wear this hat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got a fiberglass shell underneath that hat to keep his head in shape. <laughs> yeah. I he's actually like a put my headphones on shell. without, like, I put my headphones on without it. And I, like, who's that guy? Who's that streamer? Like Tyler something? Tyler 22 or something? Tyler shit? 1. Tyler 1. Is that who it's called? Yeah. The, the, the bald guy. And yeah, he's, he's like a big bald guy. You know, yeah. he has the lines on his head. Yeah. I get that instantly. I just put headphones on. It just happens. <laughs> that happens, but you get a bit of like brain juice that oh, yeah, yeah, out yeah. as well. It squirts out the other side. It's like, you know, in cartoons when they have a lump on their head and they press it down yeah. and it comes out somewhere else. It's like squashing a sponge. Yeah, it's like one of those toys you used to get where you squeeze it and like the, you know, it had like the netting over it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the little squeezy balls and it has netting and then it all bulges out and looks like weird eggs or something. Yeah. My brother bit, into, so one cool. of, my brother bit into one of those when I was getting my hair cut. It exploded so all over the hairdressers. <laughs> That's really, really stupid. <laughs> it's horrible. I think it was like, um, it might have been like a little like devil or something. And it came out of the mouth. He sounds like a little devil doing that shit. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I, would have, I would have made an amazing Dr. Dwayne. So Dr. Dwayne, he kind of owns Joel and he makes Joel's girlfriend, yeah, dump him. And then do- and Joel was really depressed. Uh, he turns into a caveman. Yeah, he's he's completely cavemaned out. He's sitting on the sofa all the time. He has a giant uh, rack of ribs, like the Flintstones yeah. in credits, and he's eating them. And he's, he's, he's like getting rib crumbs all over himself. He's like he's like brain dead in this scene. Like his his mom calls up and tells him that his dog is dead. Which has like no consequence on the oh, rest yeah. of the film. His dog got humped. To, his dog like got humped to death. Yeah, just to be like an extra like you know slap in the face to him at the beginning of and the he, journey. Yeah, he's just speaking like he, just, he can't speak because he's catatonically depressed because he got owned by Doctor Dwayne. Didn't even eat enough sausages. No, I mean the sausages haven't come into the movie yet at this point. Who's the uh, Jeremy Kyle? I used to be scared as a kid, but one day I'd have to go on Jeremy Kyle. Someone I know did go on Jeremy Kyle. One How did of the that kids go? I went to primary school with. He was uh, he was accused of stealing from his uh, pregnant girlfriend, and the lie detector mm-hmm. results were inconclusive. What did he say? Yeah. He probably wasn't lying then. Yeah, he was kind of a scumbag. He he <laughs> <laughs> he stole all oh, her piss before it came onto the pregnancy test. So she didn't know she was pregnant. You know, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say something else about this guy. He he peed himself in school assembly once. That's pretty Ooh. funny. We were, he probably we were did in like year four. He peed himself. So if anyone that from those two clues it. can work out who it is, just feel free to just like ruin his life with this information. We went on Jeremy Kyle, and he also yeah, he wet on. himself in my school assembly, and everyone like shuffled away from him, and there was a big puddle around him. It was really funny. Did he not move? No, he just sat there. Was he waiting for like the camera to go up and reveal the puddle around him? <laughs> I don't know. I just remember loads of kids sliding away from him, like, <laughs> a puddle of, of piss around him. I would have shouted. I could ask feet. him. I could try and find him. Yeah, try and find him. Get him on the okay, pod. Guest on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually just wanted to ask you some questions about uh, that time you pissed yeah, in the school yeah. in the school assembly. Did he all drown? <laughs> no, it was a normal amount of piss. <laughs> It wasn't a tidal wave of piss. I didn't get. We didn't drown yeah. in pee. It was a normal school. You had to go to the wood shop and no, build actually, an it, was a, it was a genius school. I mean, it was a it was a normal genius school. School for stupid people that piss. Oh themselves. my god! Yeah, no, no. But he was the special kind of genius, you know, where he's only good at one thing. Oh yeah, he was good at focusing on math to save his life. But you see this guy fucking do math. Mm. It's crazy. He's adding shit up. He's dividing. He's subtracting. Sometimes multiple of yeah. those things in the same equation. I could probably add up a couple numbers. 
You tested me right now? Uh, two plus two. Four. Wow. Four plus four. Eight. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. Sixteen plus fifteen. Plus 15? 31? Oh, god damn it. Don't even try me. Don't even try me. <laughs> I wanted to make you look so fucking stupid nope. just then. Nope, I'm not stupid. Okay, I'm going to do... We're going to do... Are you smarter than a 10-year-old quiz for both of you right now? All right. But check out this... Uh, check out this... Gra- check out this Chucky costume for a dog that I just posted. Huh? Pretty cool. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Are we going to alternate answering I'm... questions? Mm. No, we'll do a buzzer How thing. How does the show work say, again? Like, which one? Are you smaller than a 10 year old? Oh, um, I, I think. Um, I think there's like. Oh, maybe one of us plays a 10 year old, so one of us plays a contestant. Okay. Okay, Harry, you play a 10 year old, it'd be more convincing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Which, of the, which one of these words is an adjective? Cotton, she, Jump or red? Red. Red. It, it, yeah. <laughs> you are currently one years old. You got the. <laughs> if you want, do you want to go for another year, or do you want to just like cash out at one years old? Uh, I think I'll go for, I'll another, go for one. another year. You you haven't got one. You're still zero. No, you gotta let the ten year old go first. Youngest first. I'm sorry until he gets it wrong. Is that how? It works? Uh, actually, Harry, you're currently one years old. Velvy, you are zero years old until you <laughs> yeah. get one right. All right. What's 25 times three? Uh, 75. 75. I said it first. I said it first. I said it first. I'm two. Ooh, Harry I'm two. did say it first. So you I'm two. two. Velvet, you were zero. Okay. okay. That sounds I don't want to go for another. Is this it for this episode? I'm, I'm so sticking with two. Harry's the champion. It's not fair. Right now. I've got delay. I, mean, well, I don't know. It's the rules of the competition. Why, how do you mean, how do me and Harry have a perfect connection? I said it like, a, I said it like, a, I don't know. You've got some sort of. Uh, I guess we'll see in the recording. I don't know. Don't argue with me about this shit for now, okay? Just just take the L. It's fine. I can't take my headphones off because it will reveal the little earpiece. That I <laughs> yeah, I was doing the, the vibrating butt thing that chess guys <laughs> did say, and he did. He did it 75 times, and I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's 25 times 3? <laughs> 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 oh, that's too much. Oh uh, man, why would you do that to a ten-year-old? That's <laughs> wow. You're playing too that's much. The worst episode. You're playing too much. Yeah, no more playing. <laughs> okay, let's get serious about film. Put the toys away. Andy Milanokis was in this movie. Yeah, he's, he's how great. awesome was that? He plays two characters. How early in this? How early in this? Yeah, he did, and he played the hell out of both of them. Yeah, and that's so different. Or oh, was he both? Okay, I was trying to work out which one he, he was. He was the cause... bully, and he was Timmy O'Shamus. Yeah, the little, the, the little Irish boy who plays the flute. Mm. Filmography for Andy Milanokis. What's your favorite Andy Milanokis role? Um, Probably real life pedophile freaky guy. Is, is he a he pedophile? In real life. He gets hunted uh, by a pedophile. I don't know if What's he's a... allowed to be a pedophile because he looks like a child. I think it's just normal for him. No, I think he probably sees it as his greatest strength. He, he got hunted Wait, by what? a pedophile. So he's supposed to... He was, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, he was live streaming and this old man comes up to him with a big bag of sweets. Yeah. It's like the middle of the night. Probably got him too. <laughs> yeah, fucking weird. But yeah, my favourite Andy Milanokis role was probably Mac and Devon go to high school. He like plays this kid in a wheelchair and there's a scene where a chick like farts out a bong hit. She takes a she she sucks a bong hit up her butt and then farts it out and Andy Milanokis breathes it all in. That's really impressive. There's a CGI like green trail that goes into his mouth. It's, <laughs> it's fucking terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Wow, that seems like a really good movie. What Mac and Demi go to high school? Yeah, it's an awesome movie. Has this uh, this animated joint that's the mascot and it's called Slowburn. It's like a 3D animated joint character. Pretty sick. So what about the fucking movie? Sorry, I'm trying to find... I'm trying... I have to look through... I did this before. There's a guy that was on the Norm MacDonald show, uh, but I forgot Norm MacDonald's name, so I had to remember that, and now I have to find the show, and then I have to find the name of the guy so then I can talk about something. Okay. Okay, everyone, everyone, be quiet for a minute. Yeah. Harry does this. 
I was honestly, I got a bit scared that I had like lost memory because I couldn't remember Faster. his name or Norm Macdonald. I gave me a second. Faster. Um, 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 Norm Macdonald Live. No, Four. no. Three. No, season two. Two. Um, season one. One. Andy Dick, Andy Dick, Andy you Dick, Andy Dick. Andy Dick. I'm not Andy You're Dick. You're on the same shit he's on. I'm what not Andy, about Dick. Andy Dick. He got involved with one of those IRL live streaming groups. Do you remember this? Did you see this? No. Yeah, they would like get high off coke and drink in a caravan together. And then one time uh, in the morning on one of their IRL live streams, one of them accused Andy Dick of raping the other. Oh, yeah. And I'm not surprised. He probably did. Like, then Andy, he was Dick like yeah. Andy Dick is like notorious. But like, it's just a actually, crazy video. I always thought he, just he was a normal help guy. It. Like, he's just fucking, it's just a danger. Mm. But uh, this is, yeah, um, I think he was, this is all complete yeah. nonsense to me. Well, Andy Dick. You don't know Andy Dick? I can't visualize him. He's um, he was in he was in Thirty Rock, I think, or was he? Does he look like Hitler? He mostly just looks like a f- no, yeah, a little like bit. Yeah, he's yeah. Because like like the main character looks no, like mostly Hitler. Mostly he looks there. like Hitler. He, he, he temporarily looks like <laughs> Hitler. He temporarily looks like Hitler. So he basically he go he undergoes a Hitler transformation. There's a Hitler makeover sequence. Um, no, they fucking <laughs> they get the dude. Him and his friends, they, they his friend comes over and is like, "Hey, you gotta stop being, uh, you gotta stop being depressed." They kidnap him. Well, no, yeah. So he's doing, and then their friend shows up, who's like, "I want to be the, I want to work for Oscar Mayer Wieners and drive the Wiener mobile." So and he got, re- he's been rejected twelve times for it. So he buys his own Wiener mobile, fully funded, and they're gonna go around America and, and give out Wieners. And uh, he chloroforms Joel and, and nabs him. And they also chloroform an old woman in a scene that I thought was very funny. Chloroform doesn't work like that in real life. How does it work, expert? I'm not sure. This same, we had, <laughs> my girlfriend said this and then said the same thing afterwards. And we don't, we don't know how it works. Oh, you watched it with your girlfriend? Yeah, I watched most I of it. I think that's why you didn't enjoy really. it so much. Because yeah. your girlfriend was probably tying all the guy heme on. I was touching it all the guy no, here. Right? I, didn't, going, I thought like, it was Harry, crude. You better not laugh at these yeah. boobs. You better <laughs> okay, not laugh no, at these awesome boobs look, right now. We both love the boob, but okay. If you, lo- if, you, if you look at this girl's boobs, that means you're in love with her and not me, and we're breaking up. <laughs> Harry kept getting evil eyes. <laughs> I have one evil eye. And he- <laughs> I use it to watch my movies. Harry, Harry shrinks every time that you look at him evil. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't want to shrink too much because he didn't, then he wouldn't be able to eat his breakfast in the morning. I could still eat it. That'd be sick. You could eat like one bean at a time. <laughs> you can eat one bean at a time. Going to a cafe and asking, going to one of those gross like uh, cafes and asking for the one bean breakfast. <laughs> I want to do the one bean challenge. <laughs> that would be sick. An eating challenge and it's just one bean and you wow. have to make it last an hour. Uh, I have something to admit. It's like a temptation. No, and, such... and if you complete it, your bean is free. You know, and if not, it's ten pounds. You have to hold the bean on your tongue for an hour. You have to, <laughs> <laughs> but you can't chew it once. The be- <laughs> if the bean dissolves, you're out. But that's a free bean dinner. That's a free mm. bean. Mm. Mm. <laughs> bean. Uh, I. <laughs> I love road trip movies. I fucking <laughs> so love road I. trip movies. All right, what's your favorite one then? If you didn't like this one, um, fuck, I forgot it. I forgot the name. You don't know anything. I forgot the name. You. I love. Uh, I love Euro Trip. I love Road Trip. I love Howard and Kumar get the munchies. I love. Uh, uh, I don't really love Without a Paddle. I think Without a Paddle is kind of boring. I think I, I liked about half of Howard and Kumar. Well, get the munchies. Yeah. Oh, dude, fucking dude, where's my car? Does that, does that count as a road trip movie? Because they do kind of go around. I th- maybe. I haven't really seen it. I've seen bears. I like um, Peewee's Pee- Pee- Big Adventure. That's a good one. I haven't seen that. My favorite road trip movie is uh, is Green Book. Yeah. And then probably yeah, you like the racist guys. The, the Nazis are your favorite. No, I don't. I like... I like no, I like I how like it breaks down guy. barriers. I like the black I like, guy. Yeah, I literally do. I literally do. I literally do. Yeah, I so. was actually... Guys, I was rooting for the black guy the whole time. I was actually... Yeah. I was hoping he'd survive the whole movie. Yeah. yeah. Did he? I actually didn't see that one. 
P- I didn't watch it either. Pee Wee's um. You just said it was your favorite. Pee Wee's Big Adventure is a really strange movie because he he looks like a grown grown up, but he acts like a little boy. Mm. He wasn't acting like a little boy when he was in that theater. <laughs> Depends who you are. <laughs> grown man. Some might say that's quite immature. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah go, walking into like a porno theater and just tying to the guys going, "Hey, grow up!" Just get, get grow giggling up, in you the guys. back of the theater. You gotta cut out this chat. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see boobs on screen, you start laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> Doing like a snort laugh at like yeah. hardcore porn. Like, look, he's fucking putting it in there. Making a mess with the little chocolates that you're eating. <laughs> 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 and then you get bored halfway through so you start playing with your race car toy that's awesome running up and down the aisles just like fucking <laughs> running up and down like lube and condoms everywhere <laughs> yeah doing uh, doing race car did you tricks. ever do that were you ever a badass kid run up and down the aisles at a movie theater no I think I just watched the film I think the first film that I watched was um, Finding Nemo in the cinema that's a good ass movie once I was, I, um, the power ran out Hello? of my house and I like wanted to watch a DVD and one of the only ones that like, this is before I went and bought a bunch of DVDs for this reason. Uh, one of the only ones in the house was like Finding Nemo and I got really baked and watched it. It's fucking deep. It's actually mad deep. <laughs> like not like, not like it's like got like a big message. It's just very emotional. It's, well, very it's, emotional it's deep down in the water. Isn't it? Yeah. That's kind of a thinker. That's a thinker, that one. Yeah. This, this is part of our process to make Anthony as, as, as brain as small as possible. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? I'm, to- I'm, to- I'm talking about how I was touched by the movie Finding Nemo. I thought it was the beautiful story about a father doing anything to get back to his son. Yeah. You know, it's a kid's movie, but there's something there for adults. Yeah. Kid- Dory. She's a fucking hot piece of ass. It's a kid's you movie. Get to live out it's the a kid's movie. You get to live out the fantasy of losing your son. Oh yeah, it's no. A... Well, I kind of had my own Finding Nemo thing. I just didn't. <laughs> didn't. It's a kid's movie, uh, but there's back. still something. It's a kid's movie, but there's still something there for Ant. Yeah, the kids in the cinema. <laughs> oh, fuck no! <laughs> fuck no! <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so glad you got that out. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what, Harry, that, right? Harry, Harry, that's a that's a tally towards playing Fortnite later. That's there you go. Yo, that's a we can play there. it for a minute. That's a little tick every there. every tally is a round. <laughs> that's how you know. I'll even let you pick where we drop. Wow. Don't wanna know what got that joke out. The adrenaline. I thought I was being broken into. <laughs> I didn't know my girlfriend was here, and then someone opened the door, and I got really scared. <laughs> and then I saw shadows coming under the door, you and I got really think scared. Your house is being broken into. No, that's that is a yeah. I do get very scared of that. Do you have like a weapon a prepared? Uh, no. You I don't really have weapons. I mostly my, my plan is to probably like plead. I'll probably plead. Oh no, I do. Wait, check it out. I do. Check this out. Cool I totally sword. forgot about these. Uh, how do I get this out? Oh no! Like what have you got? Check this out. What is this weapon? <laughs> Yo, oh, is my Bruce is Lee nunchucks? nunchucks? Wow. Yep. Yo! My dad got these when he was a teenager, and he That's let me have them. That's fucking cool. I'm like a ninja, yo. Dude, do some nunchuck <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is our best episode ever. Harry's got nunchucks. It is a. That's like a TV over there in a box. And he's also wearing. I was wondering why you're wearing that ninja outfit. <laughs> yeah. And it all makes sense. Wearing this full ninja outfit. Yo. Anyway, so yeah, if someone comes in, I'll probably because like you can see Bruce Lee on these. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, <laughs> they don't go out very. That's between my awesome sword and your nunchucks, we could fucking yeah be on some fucking uh, some soul caliber shit. <laughs> we could have a jewel of fates. You know, what we could be like what were those New York, um, New York like they were sort of little protectors. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Guardian Angel. <laughs> yes, Harvey <laughs> Donatello. They protected New York with their awesome weapons. <clears throat> Yeah, we could be like the guardian angels of New York, but for all of England, I guess. I thought those guys were lame. They were lame. They were like evil, I think. The people doing crime in New York at that time were much cooler. That's like, true. Like, obviously not the rapers, but like... No, there you know, should be someone the to stop rapers. Guys. But yeah. Yeah. 
the graffiti guys were doing some. Oh no, shit. I would probably, I would probably shoot that a graffiti. You kill, you kill a, a tagger, yeah. a tagist. I'd t- yeah, I'd be like the Punisher, yeah. but for, but for taggers. Specifically graffiti, yeah, graffiti yeah. artists. And then all their blood makes a big splat on the wall, and that's their last laugh. Yo, yeah. and you write your own tag in blood. This would be an awesome movie that I could be in. Yeah. Oh, a men's gnome costume. <laughs> I've been shopping for Halloween. Okay, men's gnome costume. Men's gnome costume. Yo, this costume's awesome. Hazy hippie costume. Yeah, and it looks like the hippie from a movie. Oh, it does. The yes, hippie in the movie was wearing that. Yeah. Yeah, he's wearing a dashiki and a rasta hat. He's kind of a, a black, a black guy hippie. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be a black guy for some reason. <laughs> Mm. I, I don't like the hippies at all. I don't really know why he was wearing a dashiki. Oh yeah, I mean they were the villains of the film. Yeah, and they, like, they drive a big block of tofu. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's gotta be uh, it's gotta be a very inefficient car. It's a lot of that's a lot of air resistance in the in the in the cube shaped car. If you think about it, they're almost as bad as the the meat industry. Anyone? Little physics, little physics, aerodynamics talk. Um. Uh, all right, looking through my notes here. Timo, Seamus, Andy, chloroforms the old woman, so funny. Hitler Tash in the diner. So he wakes up <laughs> and they, they've taken him to a diner. Uh, I, I, oh, uh, <laughs> can I just ask? Did you guys, I think me and Valve used the same download, but did you also have the stars logo in the bottom right for most of the movie? I have no idea. I don't know. I used the same. I used the same oh. thing that. Like, yeah, I, I had the stars. The stars logo kept popping up. That's cool. It's kind of this. This awesome. kind of movie was made to be on that channel. Mm. Like, I don't know anything about stars other than they made the Ash versus the the Dead whatever TV they show. They made the Fifty Cent shows. What? There was yep. a Fifty yeah. Cent show. Oh, what the one where he's really sick. Like power or something. Oh, okay, no. I think it's a movie where he plays like a, a movie an AIDS where victim. Fifty Cent is like, a cancer victim or something. That's oh. so fun. That's so. Funny. He wouldn't play. I don't think he would. He looks play like ET e. when he's like drying up and he's all white. <laughs> you know, when ET looks like a white dog turd. Like that's what that's what uh, Fifty Cent looks like in that movie. Mm. I I don't I think I don't think we need to like go through the movie step by step. I think that's a really bad idea. Right. <laughs> Why? There's just so many good just, things about them. Yeah, movie. just talk about our fam- favorite bits. Like the gay cowboy that comes out and sucks his finger. Yeah, I had a billion favorite bits. <laughs> so yeah, the gay cowboy assault, I've got that written down. He, he comes uh, out, he's, he's all sexy, he's got a big black track. And then he, that's a classic two that's a classic two thousands yeah. comedy bit. And then he sucks Keenan Thompson's finger. Gay guy wants to rape you. It was an all too common story. Yeah, the cow the, yeah. <laughs> the cowboy that wants to assault you. It's a classic yeah, and then bit. his friends make fun of him for getting sexually assaulted. Which is fair. <laughs> they just start busting jokes about it. Oh, wait, the cowboy's got like yeah. a big dick bulge as well. I don't know if it's a big dick bulge. <laughs> they're also, they're in the middle of a town and he's like, there's no one here for at least two miles. He's in the middle of a yeah. town. That doesn't make sense. I feel like the entire time I was waiting for it to turn racist for Keenan Thompson... Like he's in these weird small towns. I was yeah. like, mm. are they gonna get? Are they gonna get racial with it? But no, I don't think it does. At no point in the movie yeah. is anyone no, racial. No, because this was like pre-George Bush and Donald Trump. So no, it's two thousand eight. This really was fucking of the election of well, Obama. Yeah. Well, that uh, explains yeah, so things were okay. Oh yeah, racism was over. Yeah. Oh, check out this costume. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking? I'm, I'm I'm considering demoting a point. Oh, actually, do you like this? <laughs> Yeah, see, don't demo old point cow for hand. <laughs> Howdy there. My name's Adult Old Cow Hand. And it's one size only. This is what you would look like in a normal sized cowboy <laughs> yeah. and hat and gun. <laughs> yeah. then, this is what you'd look like if you had a mustache. <laughs> I think it would be good. He's, got, um, he's got gigantism of the legs. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's got elephantiasis, whatever it's called. Yeah, and the he's elephant man, but legs. it's I've, yeah, and the trunk is the trunk is nudge nudge my penis. That's why they call me elephant. Isn't that a joke from I Family have, Guy? Because I have elephant sure that's a joke from Oh family maybe, guy. That's maybe exactly a joke from Family Guy. Yeah, great minds think alike. What's your point? Uh, you think this? like Seth MacFarlane? Yeah, he's a great mind. So you're I the think. same. You're the same awful being. Use? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this bandit mustache is really expensive. Five quid for a little bit of mustache. Yeah, but you don't. I think it's it comes with real hair. Mustache. No, it's just a little bit of felt. <laughs> okay, fuck it then. 
Oh, no, it doesn't come with a mask. Harry, I found the costume for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the one. Oh, this is like costume, just normal clothes. Just, just this. completely normal clothes. <laughs> Giant deluxe <laughs> Afro wig. Yeah. You'll we'll be ready to shake your groove thing in this oh deluxe God. Afro wig. Yes. If you don't have the locks to pull off this righteous look, but still want to shine, now's your chance. That's me. You could um, you could cut some holes in the top and stick your legs through, and you could be Bar Bar Black Sheep. <laughs> says here, the Afro doesn't get enough love. And honestly, that's not <laughs> true. White people, we've been sleeping on Afros, man. What happened? <laughs> Wait, they ask about my people heads used to love from? Afros. Oh, no, they... Yeah, white people used to wear Afros all the time. <laughs> yeah, now they don't. What's going on? Yeah. There's so many... Why have I recommended ac- accessories like four I think if I got a perm Afro, Afro, it would look so sick. Probably would. Imagine how awesome that would look if I just had a huge... You'd look like a music teacher. Hair. <laughs> yeah. I'd like I get electrocuted. <laughs> I, I think we should uh, electrocute you. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get a big glowing skeleton put in me. I'm going to make my skeleton glow. I think my skeleton probably already glows. Why? Why do you fucking think that? Too much computer. Oh, that's true. <laughs> You'll get square eyes and your bones will start grow- glowing. <laughs> Fucking... I was so scared of square eyes because there's an episode of my family where the baby gets square eyes, so... Let's yeah, just I was so was scared, scared of going blind from fucking... I was so scared. I was so scared of getting a square dick from jacking off the <laughs> <laughs> What? That's what we used to say. Oh, you look no. at the TV too much, you get square eyes. You jack your dick too much, you get square dick. <laughs> nah, I never had any of that. You know, don't wipe enough after you go to the bathroom. Square butt. <laughs> the wind changes. You're stuck square. Yeah. <laughs> if you get if you get a square butt, you have to go work on a building site making bricks. <laughs> <laughs> they feed you grits like a chicken. <laughs> That's really constructive. Um, Keep your poop to yourself. <laughs> okay, so they, they, so they, these hippies uh, are mean to them because they sell meat. Mm. That was funny. Uh, I really like the section where he sings Camp Town Races. Like they, like so Joel finally cheers up, and then during their journey, like they get you know fucked over by the hippies, and the hippie steals his his cool hood ornament. And there's a hot dog on it. Oh yeah. And then he sings Camp Town Races in a bunch of different voices for like. Three days. I thought that was funny. Anyone else? Um, um, I liked the bit where they went to their old teacher, their old very sexual that teacher. Their teacher's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sexual times were. So I actually looked up, I looked her up. Just uh, give mm-hmm. a little backstory on her while I get her, her, her thing up. She, she's like get the sexy teacher. Up. Can you get her fang up and show it to me, please? But like, like, t- like say what happened in the movie. But like when they were younger, they had like they just like fancied this teacher, and she's like blonde, and she's got like high heels and shit. But like massive tits, yeah. yeah. She's she's kind of a, yeah, she's got like a massive, massive chin as well. Boob, boob she's got a very strange facial structure as well. Yeah. So That's, okay, Jennifer critical. Jennifer McCarthy Wahlberg is mm-hmm. an American Wait, actress, model, activist, television personality, and writer. She started. So she's a Playboy uh, bunny. That was like her. She could play with my boy. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Thank uh, God. She was in a bunch of two thousands movies, and a lot of her her um, a lot of her Wikipedia page talks about how she promotes the disproven idea that vaccines cause autism. Uh, she's described as the face of the anti-vax movement and one of the nation's most prominent purveyors of anti-vaxxer ideology. Wow. But yeah. don't know what she is in this movie. She's the face of the anti-boner movement. She oh, gets yeah, because she completely, ki- she completely yeah. kills anybody. She turns into a total head. head. She gets ugly. Yeah, she's basically just a disgusting... Uh, you know what, though? Her boobs are still awesome. In, mm. in the lore of the film, her boobs are still good because Kenan Thompson uh, looks at her boobs while she's unconscious <laughs> and, he, and he looks really happy about it. So you can tell that the boobs were good to look at. Yeah. Yeah, they were still there. Um, you guys have any teacher there. crushes? Like, if she's out in the desert. You could be, anything could happen to him. Snake bite, coyote mm. could get to him. Yes, 
cactus. You fall directly on a cactus. It goes between mm. your boobs. You got a bunch of you got spiky boobs now. Impaled on a cactus and you lose both yeah. your boobs. In the big Fuck no. Hell no. I don't want that to happen to <laughs> big boobs. Yeah, I would probably any woman I met that happened to, I'd probably just like put them down. Yeah. I'd cry. Could, um, I'd cry for them. Yeah, I'd I'd shed like a single tear, like the Native American looking at what's happened to his land. <laughs> like I just look away, I look at the camera, and a single solid, like a single stoic tear just rolls down my face. They they could get too much fresh air and then fall asleep. That's another thing that could happen. Yeah, what is narcolepsy? <laughs> is narcolepsy real, or is that just like an excuse to get to good sleep all the time? My my. No, it's real, but they do complain too much. My neighbor's got like something similar to narcolepsy, but like I think he passes out if he it laughs. Makes him wake up all the time. He passes out if he laughs too much. Oh my god, I would be telling that guy jokes all the time. <laughs> that would be so sick. If I knew somebody passed out from laughing, I would literally constantly tell him jokes. I'd make them cry to save their life. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping you. Again. I'm helping you. You constantly run up behind them and make them scream and make them jump. Go, I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Don't laughs> you're, try, you're trying to get your your badges for scouts, and you go up to all the old ladies trying to cross the street. <laughs> I'm helping you. <laughs> Grab them by the shoulders. <laughs> Were there any other beautiful parts of this movie that you guys loved? Uh, um, let me look at my notes. There aren't many. <laughs> Harry's got bare bones notes. It's just hey, I like Walrus so, Boy. No, like all of them. McCarthy like announced that M- McCarthy has a kid with autism, and she said that he is a crystal child, and that she was an indigo mom. Wow. Hey, in I'd I'd to go in this mom. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna have a go next. Yo. I want to have a go on that. A child is like a crystal. I want to put my to me. Why? Uh, you can see through them <laughs> <laughs> from the right angle. You can see through a child. Hell, I could I could turn her into a crystal because of pressure. I could put pressure. I could crystallize her with my with my liquid. I could really <laughs> encase her like a spider's web. I, I could turn her to stone and then grind her up and make indigo and dye some jeans. <laughs> Throwing over her like a spider with like spider's web coming out of your dick. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna give her I'm, my, her I'm gonna give her my shot and she's gonna be irreparably changed. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. McCarthy's proselytation of these views has been called dangerous, reckless, and uninformed. That's how I'm gonna be on the pussy. Am I right? <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm dangerous and reckless. I'm gonna it? be uninformed on that pussy. I'm gonna be ignorant. <laughs> 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 uh, I liked Carl. So, I don't actually know. I didn't like Carl Gas in this movie. I thought it was horrible. Oh yeah, Carl Gas. From, yeah, from what? Wild, wild Walrus Boy. Yeah, he plays Walrus Boy. I liked Walrus Boy. I hated him. You're skipping so. You're skipping an awesome part. Who cares? So they. <laughs> the, the audience who aren't going to know what happened in this fucking movie, <laughs> which was good. We're talking about how much we like the movie, and you don't want to talk about it. I don't like how much of this show is just is me getting mad. I wish you would just like make an effort to. <laughs> the entire episode last week was me mad as hell at you because you didn't watch a damn movie. I was I was vulnerable then. I was weak. I was. I'm vulnerable. vulnerable. <laughs> no, you're not. You just said the Atomi's fine. <laughs> now it's starting to hurt. Okay. 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 Well, whose fault is that? I saw you drinking that tamarind drink. Yeah, but I haven't even finished it. Yeah, I know. This is, I've had this for like five days. That's, That's why horrible. your stomach's bad. No, that doesn't make me poop. That doesn't make me poop. That doesn't make me poop. Okay, well, good. <sighs> I think there's something about this flat wheel that gives uh, trapped gas, because uh, my girlfriend had it and fainted almost one morning. From, from gas? Yeah, she was like pale-faced. It was pretty scary. The gas bubble went up to her brain and <laughs> knocked her out. Yeah. She had a fart in her brain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how it happens. <laughs> This can happen. I've I've had bad trapped gas since I got here. I think it's the height. Now that I'm up so high, because I live in a penthouse. Uh, Yo, what? Yeah, I live in a penthouse. So, do you actually um, live on the top floor? Yep. Third I floor. lived on the top third floor. floor baby. <laughs> no, it's no. It doesn't matter how high it is. As long as you live on the top floor, it's awesome. It's so powerful. <laughs> yeah. Because you can stomp around as much as you want and make loads of noise, and no one can do it to you. Yeah. You can literally just completely just oppress your your underneath neighbors and just like. Wake up at yeah. seven in the morning, do a bunch of star jumps. 
I wouldn't wake up at seven in the mm. morning. Though. I did today because I had fucking beer poisoning again. <laughs> this guy keeps getting dummy poisoning. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't do that. They're that's why. That's why I'm now. okay. Just, it's not. not as pure as it used to be. They're, they're cutting it with something now. It's making me <laughs> sick to my stomach. Making me sick as a dog. They're putting raw chicken in there, and you're getting salmon. <laughs> they're giving poisoning. me chicken, bro. They're giving me chicken brow. <laughs> I don't want it. I keep getting this chicken beer and it keeps making me sick. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just, I can't stop drinking this chicken beer. It makes me so sick, though. <laughs> oh, but it tastes no, like raw just chicken. Regular it's sick. So good. Like I woke up, I woke up and I needed to drink a bunch of water, and then I just kind of rolled around in my bed for a couple of hours with a stomach ache until I got out of bed. <laughs> I'm fine now, though. It's fine. I'm basically completely healed. <laughs> So they they go meet their teacher. Oh, there was a really funny bit with the teacher during the the sequence where they're like fantasizing about her. She says like parallelogram in like a very breathy, sexy voice. Yeah, I thought that that was a really good gag. I've never found shapes all that funny. Just shut the fuck up. Um, I've never found very like, all to the me. bullshit. I've never found all the bullshit that you talk about. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this, this is not good, actually. Yeah. I'm getting targeted. I really enjoy this movie, and I was making me very hostile that you guys are being, are being diminutive right now. I just didn't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, she got ate out by a dog. That was awesome. White women be yeah. like, am yeah. I right? Mm-hmm. Wish I was a White dog. White bitches. Yeah. And Joel, Ben, and Wyatt, the they did not like that. No... Although they're not as shocked as one would expect to uh, be if you'd seen a dog eating someone's pussy. We were probably scared the dog would kill them. I think they're too polite. The dog would get mad that they're cock blocking. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's gross. Don't say that. Uh, Andy Milanokis comes back uh, like for the third time. It's Timmy O'Shea, so that was a fun recurring character. I thought it was... I didn't... He had no effect on me. I think that's why I didn't like this movie. Well, you just weren't lulled in by Andy Milanokis' character. No. no. Okay, so boring. Joel gets his nut up and he's like, he goes and fights the fucking hippies who have kidnapped the guys. And then mm. they're like, okay, now we're going to go oh, bust that was a good Dr. Dwayne. That was funny as hell. That was good, yeah. And that was an awesome him over the stairs and he, like, he, he does he, the blow thing. He like blows one of them yeah. away. <laughs> and then he does the like kung fu like hit like that and she flies <laughs> across the room. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. And then yeah, yeah, they break into good. Dr. Dwayne's place. Ben acts really gay. He gets gay with the security guard. And I think he comes out at the end, right? Why did, oh, your fa- why did you screw your face up like that when I said he turned gay? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You just pulled like a, like a yuck <laughs> face when I said Are you talking to me? Gay. Yes, I'm talking, exa- I'm I talking had to an, you. I was staring straight at I you. Had an, look, I had an itchy nose and I've got a feeling I need to poop, okay? okay my yeah, face, yeah, 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 my yeah, face yeah, is sure. going crazy. <laughs> so ben Sorry, whatever, gets, whatever someone ben mentions gay, gay people, I feel the need to poop. They go that wasn't in, in my punches up the fucking. I think I think you've what? I think you've con- conjured that up yourself. What are you fucking <laughs> no. talking about? He gets he's very gay with the security guard. No. I'm just kidding. Well, don't <laughs> ever stop making jokes. <laughs> this this podcast is about film and cinema. Check it out. That he's is purple, man. Huh? This is on the men's hazy hippie costume. That that haze is purple, purple, man. man. So if you want to feel the chill vibes of the 60s today, then you need this Dashiki-style shirt, man. I I, I don't know if Dashiki's really what they wore back then. I feel like Dashiki is like a more modern hippie thing. No, they used to wear like bulletproof vests in case they did painting the again. I really need to poop. We're on the hour mark. Is it done? Is that it? Harry I don't know, you guys can, you guys can no, keep I going. Know, fuck, it's over. I, I think we can you end You guys can keep going, but uh, my tummy you, hurt. Fuck you, fuck uh, you. I'm sorry. Rate us five star- no, not you, the audience. Rate us oh. five stars. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, mm-hmm. Go and listen to the other episodes that, you're, that, that we've already released. Follow us on Twitter. Anyone... Follow us on our personal accounts. Yep. Uh, you know, tell all of your friends about the podcast. Yep. Um, if you find a gizmo costume, gizmo. Giz- Yes, more costume for less than forty pounds. <laughs> Send it to me. I'm on the market. Okay, fuck you. Bye, 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 bye. Fuck you. Bye, bye. 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 I want a girl with lips like more.
nothing